So good afternoon, everyone. It's a real pleasure to be here with people trying to launch our first online program for sleep medicine. And I thought the first one would be for uh, technicians. And going forward, we will have lots more online programs on this platform to help uh, doctors, psychologists, etc. So I'm just going to begin by sh sharing with you the basis of this program. So this is a division of the Neurology Sleep Center and it's been called as the Sleep Medicine Institute. What is, before we go forward, I just want to go over a few house rules, uh, similar to the ones that we have when we are organizing a, or talking in a workshop or live face to face. Uh, please keep your audio and video off and we will give a chance at the end of my talk uh, for each one to ask any questions and we shall try and address them. Uh, we are dependent on the internet and on the technology. So if there is a break for some time, we should be logged in back soon and again, keep your questions ready. So what is this launch and this, what are we are planning to do? I think we all agree that sleep medicine has grown rapidly in the past few decades. Why has this been? It's I guess that we have understood the brain a lot better. We understand sleep a lot better. But with the advancement in the science, we also need um, trained manpower with equal speed. And over the years, of practice and years of working in this field, we do find that there is a lacuna or a gap which is coming up and that needs to be addressed and filled. Keeping that in mind, we launched this first online platform and that is called as the SMI, that is a sleep medicine institute dot neurology sleep center dot com. So I don't really need to go over this, but yes, just for reiterating the fact that for an efficient sleep medicine department center, we need these following. One is the doctor and I have specially put uh, multidisciplinary below that to say that sleep medicine is under the preview or the domains of multiple specialities. So I am uh, planning and hopeful that on this platform we will get inputs from all specialities neurology, pulmonology, dentistry, psychiatry, psychology, pediatrics that we work together to make this platform so that all of us can gain and learn from this. So that's the doctor fraternity. The next is the sleep technologists. So this could be a trainee, this could be a sleep technician, this could be a senior sleep technologist, it could be a sleep manager, a sleep coach, a sleep health person. So there are numerous sub specialities, subdivisions also in this uh, big category. And we will go over how to improve the career graph in these people. And of course, the most important person is the patient and which we will talk in details about how to handle the patient, how to solve the problems in this field. So who is this, this particular course? Who is it meant for? So in my mind, I thought that it's meant for two types of people primarily. One is those who want to start their career in sleep medicine. And thus this course has been kept as a very basic course. So I agree, people who already are practicing, who are well versed with the knowledge, this may be not the right fit for them. And hopefully we will come up for those people with the right fit. But for those who want to start the career, and yes, those who are already in their career, but would want to learn a little bit more. Sometimes we go forward and we miss the basics. So we will address those issues. And we've kept the basic requirement as a very simple requirement, and that is 10 plus 2 with the science background. And anything above that is also welcome. So thus, who should attend this? 
So, sorry, just give me a two minutes. I, uh, that's the reason I think we say that uh, let's join in time because I had a feeling that people would keep missing a little bit if they start a little late. So the ones who start enter come in late, I will have to request that, you know, we will uh, try and answer their queries at the end because it will otherwise create a difficulty for me. People are still trying to join in. Sorry. So I'm going to actually stop admitting. Okay. So as of now, what is the training provided for people for the sleep technologists I'm talking about at the moment. So mostly, yes, in the last few years, the change has been that we have seen a training facility in a few hospitals in the north, in the south, where the technicians go through a training along with neurophysiology. And this is usually for about two years that they learn electrophysiology, the neuroelectrophysiology, and they learn sleep. There is also training in pulmonology departments where they learn something about the pulmonary function test, bronchoscopy, and assisted, and then they become sleep techs. But majority, I would say, I haven't put them, it's very hard to know numbers in our country, but I would say they are mostly on site. And some, of course, there is help from the industry training, and then we have some conferences and workshops where people do try and learn. So that's the current scenario for training in our country. I did try and get an idea that how many people, what are the kind of number of sleep labs in the country so far and how many techs are there? How many doctors are there? It's kind of hard, but I got these numbers from the industry that the total number of sleep machines, this is counting the level one and the level three, approximately we can say maybe around 1000. Total number of sleep techs, those working at a very basic level with the, uh, the dealers, with the industry, besides those who are really working in hospitals, approximately maybe two to 3,000. And the guess is that there are about one lakh studies which are done in the country. So there is a big scope for a further upgrading of skills. So why the course and why, what led us to it? Like I just said, so one that yes, I've had a lot of experience. We started the sleep lab at Ames. I have over the years, started labs at teaching hospitals in Delhi and the private hospitals. And to see that, and we also started a training facility or with called the A School of Sleep Medicine with Dr. Preeti in 2012. We have conducted 22 courses so far all over the country and workshops. And hope that we can fill this gap between the best form of service available and the service as of now, which is possible in the country so that we train these technicians and technologists. I've also taken a lot of input from the technologists and technicians around and tried to come up with a very practical, comprehensive course, unlike the ones which are available online, such as the American Academy courses or the other European, etc., which are sometimes difficult for our people. Coming to the ta brass tacks about the course itself, so there is a theory component and there is a practical component. The theory component is to give you or the technicians a basic knowledge in sleep medicine. This is composed of eight modules, which start as I thought the first one should be the role of a sleep technologist. Very often we enter into a career in sometimes which we don't know exactly what is really in store for us, what is the career path. So that module I have made uh, telling people that. Second one is, which I think everybody should know about some basics of sleep in a very simplistic manner. How to approach a sleep patient, common sleep disorders, measurement of sleep, that is a polysomnography, 
the pap titrations, the reviewing a sleep report, and what else can you expect in an emerge in a center, such as the emergencies in a center, infection control in a center. So this is eight modules, very simple, uh, duration approximately 45 minutes each. And this is of over four months we have given you ample time to complete this. At the end, there would be a practical module. These are live sessions. The theory is recorded sessions. The, the practical module will cover at least 10 hours and it will have practical aspects of all what has been discussed in the theory. At the end of this course, we want and hope and the learning outcomes should be that people are clear about the role of sleep technicians. They are also clear about the basics of normal sleep, the types of sleep studies, how to perform a sleep study, how to perform home sleep testing in the current era that we are in, ideal titration, scoring, and lab maintenance. On the completion of this course, you will receive a certificate that you have completed the basic course for sleep technicians in sleep medicine, and this will be given by the Neurology and Sleep Center. And we will try, we will do a recap of some question and answer. What about the other things that you can hope for? You will get, of course, this digital certificate. We will, as of now, we have a free webinar on the soft skills for uh, development for uh, sleep technicians, but we will add some more interesting soft, uh, some free bonuses off and on, and especially for case studies to, to help you uh, go through them and learn from them. We are also getting almost ready with the advanced course. So the students who join the basic course will get a discount coupon for the advanced course. And we have decided that un because these are not live sessions, so we will do a doubt clearing session every 15 days. So what is this offer? I agree that we are going through this time, but so we have put a special offer and that is a 50% discount so ideally, the course is going to be priced at 10,000. So those who register now, and I will tell you the time period, the offer has a discount of 5,000 rupees, and that is inclusive of the GST. And we have another offer. So the first lot is the ones who register for 5,000. For another three to four days, they will get it at 5,000. But we say that, okay, if there is a problem, we have also made this possible in two installments, but 14th of May, the first installment, and before 17th of May, the second installment. That means this 5,000, you can divide into two and pay up by the 17th of May. What about after that? After that, the price will go up to 10,000. And the last date for enrollment for the 10,000 would be 25th of May. The aim is that we keep four months for theory and then we fix a date for the practical, which is going to be in October. So that's the plan. Uh, this is a sample of the, those who register for the online will be led on to this platform, which is called as a teachable platform. And they will get more information about the modules, etc. But for those who are attending this today, we have another special offer. And I will explain that offer. That is the first five registrations while I am talking will get an additional 20% off. That means the original offer is 10,000. We have a 50% discount that is 5,000. But if the five names that we get in the chat box now starting now, the first five names will pay only 4,000. So that's the ones for the first few who write their names right now. So I hope these parts are clear. I'm just going to go. Uh, so how to reserve your spot? Uh, the ones who went on to the landing page or the SMI, that is the Sleep Medicine Institute at neuro, dot neurology sleep center dot com. You can click 
on that and it will take you to the page of registration please uh, turn videos off for the time being we will allow videos uh, later on uh, so you register yourself you can proceed with the payment and if you have any issue please do let us know we will be there to help you so the batch will start on the 18th of may and on the 18th itself we will do another session to guide those who have enrolled how to really go through the online process these are new things for us we are not all of us are still learning this technology but we will guide you and help you through that process and that will be done on the 18th of may so on the 18th of may at 12 noon we will go live with the course again and go through the complete pages of what is called as a teachable program the teachable site so i'm now going to end and say thank you for joining us um, it's been a pleasure and it's been my dream to provide an online teaching platform because for many reasons people who are not able to travel to come hopefully wherever you are at your own homes luxury of your time you will be able to complete this course as and when you feel i would also just want to say uh, this is not been done alone it's not possible to start and develop uh, courses like this i have been fortunate and we have faculty who i have worked closely with over all these years who will be supporting me and helping me through these courses so dr deepak shrivastava is in uc davis usa uh, dr preeti devnani who is also my partner in the a school of sleep medicine and many of you may know her she is now in the cleveland hospital and clinic at abu dhabi dr malik was the head of physiology department at aims and the president of the indian society of sleep research dr tripath is at singapore he is a educator for the philips especially for sleep uh, consultant and dr sushant is with the philips as a business head and teaching program but i have more uh, faculty added on ever since i completed this uh, slides and course and i would uh, keep adding on to this so uh, i'm just going to say that uh, that's all for now i we are op i'm going to stop sharing the slides uh, and uh, i guess we have some questions in the chat uh, so i have so i can in so somebody is asking i will go over some questions and then uh, how will the practical sessions be conducted can you elaborate so the practical sessions we have made a program which will be available on for those who register but in brief i will tell you that we will talk about a role play for a history taking uh, we will demonstrate the 1020 system for eeg placement we will demonstrate the complete hookup for a patient in the lab for level 1 and level 3 and we will also uh, this show review of sleep data so whatever we i have felt that we have talked about in theory we will demonstrate mask fitting we will demonstrate the parts of a pap machine etc so that would be the practical uh, will you go through the details for interpreting the sleep reports yes uh, we have two theory uh, modules for sleep one is reviewing and scoring the sleep study and second is the how to write a sleep report uh, if i get some more uh matsala just ask saurabh that if any other questions then so somebody has to tell me the questions no? Yeah. 
do we have any classes at the cross center? So this uh, actually came up because I felt I'm going to just uh, mute everybody, please. Sorry, I think that it starts creating a lot of uh, background noise. Uh, can you mute people? Uh, our customer really. Yeah. Sorry. So uh, people have asked about classes at my center. As of now, not really, uh, because particularly the lockdown and also it's difficult. And I thought, let's start with this. If you anybody has a particular thing that they would want, then we will talk about it later. Registration, please go to the site www.smi.neurologysleepcenter.com or you can write an email to us and we will go through it. Uh, if people want to write anything more in the chat box, I will uh, answer. Otherwise, then we will How do we identify the epoch of apnea? So these are going to be the things which will be discussed and shown to you in the theory and also dealt with in the practical. And we will, the aim is to familiarize you with the whole concept of sleep medicine. Um, so we will talk a little bit about insomnia, parasomnia, touch the, because in history taking and in the advanced courses, then we will go through uh, sleep study, how to perform in a, with comorbid conditions. Will manual scoring be taught? Uh, so we are, like I said, we are going to sh have a one full module on scoring. Uh, but on this platform itself, I am going to put separate about one and a half hour modules only for scoring because I realize that when we fit that partly into a course, it's difficult, but if we have it complete as standalone. What I would also welcome is that if anybody wants a particular topic, uh, you think needs to be enhanced, we are open to it. And it would be a real pleasure to provide that topic in uh, detail to you all so that you can benefit from it. So idea is that I want to make this as interactive, as practical, that it will help you in your clinical scenario and not so much that theory that with books, which you can also always read. Uh, will any text material be provided? Uh, so what we are thinking of doing that we will give you some kind of, I have to take permission from all the faculty who are contributing, but we will give you some resources and we will try and definitely share some parts of the presentation with you. Not the recordings complete, and but definitely some things we would. And you, you're welcome again to ask. That's why we have these sessions, which are going to be called doubt clearing sessions, which the structure we will provide for the ones who register. Course outline, please. Um, somebody joined later. So the, I think it's mentioned on the landing page. If you go, it will tell you the complete things. But there are eight modules theory and 10 hours practical. The theory modules will include role of a sleep technician, classification of sleep disorders, how to take a sleep history, measurement of sleep, that is the polysomnography, level one, two, three, four, including a separate module on home sleep testing, PAP titration, as by the recommendations by the American Academy, uh, sleep study review, scoring, sleep study report and the center management such as infection control, equipment maintenance and center emergencies. Please provide five names for registration with discount fee. Uh, let my back, I, while I'm talking to you, it's almost impossible to look at what those five names were, uh, but we have your emails and I have your names. <coughs> so I will let you know that uh, which are the five lucky draw winners. But you have a week. Uh, so ideally people give it three days, but I said, okay, uh, we will give it one week for you to 
decide and pay up at the cost of at least 5,000. So with 4,000, 5,000 is not such a big difference. But after the 18th, then it will become a full fee. And after 25th, uh, we will close uh, registrations for this. And then we will start later again uh, because we want to have a small batches for the practical so that we are able to deal with each individual question from the practical. Um, any other questions? Then otherwise we will, uh, I want to thank you again. I want to thank um, Rishi Computers, Globe Reach for helping me launch this. I want to thank my team for supporting me and you will get to see them in the practical sessions as well. Yes, the course will start on 18th May uh, because we are giving people one week so that and we'll open up the teachable program for that. Uh, the time slot. So once you enroll in this, you will get a login and a ID password similar to what you got today. And you will get the sleep modules, which you can do at your own time. See, the advantage of this is that you choose your time, you choose your place, wherever in the house, whatever time, and you finish that. But at the end of four months, the modules will close for you. We will also be having an examination, which I will discuss details um, on the 18th when we discuss. So there will be an online exam, an MCQ based, before you are given the certificate. Yes, the, the concept is definitely different for doctors and technicians uh, because the doctors, we have separate modules for insomnia, parasomnia, hypersomnia, and also the basics of sleep will go a little bit deeper into neurophysiology, neurobiology. So that's the major difference. Um, and for technicians, we have gone a little bit more into detail of how to approach a patient, how to handle a patient, etc. But I agree that if somebody is a doctor but wanting to start their career in sleep medicine, <clears throat> then this is also a good opportunity uh, to just at least familiarize yourself. So it depends what stage or what path you are in your career graph and then you can choose where you would like to be. Okay, now I want to just thank everybody and um, see you soon. And hopefully we will meet again on the 18th where we will go through the online exact program for the teaching modules, which for many people might be something new to do. Thank you again for your attention.